calories in equals calories out, right? Well, this is not the true weight loss equation and I will explain why many so-called fitness experts are wrong. There are more ways to lose weight than through activity levels and caloric restrictions. Essentially what you're doing is getting rid of energy in order to lose weight. And energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it can only change forms. People seem fixated on exercise and storage as the only two ways to do so. Thermodynamics is king in changing forms of energy and it allows you to get rid of fat in a ridiculously high pace. So in this video I will break down how exposure to cold will burn calories, simple methods to maximize fat burning and what to eat before cold exposure to lose more weight faster. Remember when news came out about Michael Phelps and his ridiculous 12,000 calorie diet? Well he debunked that himself by saying he only eats about 8 to 10,000 calories per day that is. That is absolutely outrageous to be able to be in peak condition while forcing 10,000 calories down every single day. But the secret of burning that many calories is not only in his exercise but in his environment. He trains for hours in water. It's the cold water that makes it possible to burn those extra calories. Exposure to cold temperatures is known to mimic the effects of exercise, protecting against obesity and improving metabolic health. Take climbing Mount Everest for example. Obviously the climbing itself will burn calories, however the extreme climate will force body fat to be used as heat and the pounds will fly off. Scott Parasinski, a former astronaut, attempted to climb Mount Everest twice and lost about 25 pounds each time. In order to prevent excessive weight loss, they had to eat lard and sticks of butter. This is the power of thermodynamics, an alternative way to get rid of energy and simply shiver fat away. The Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism writes in their studies that you can shiver yourself slim by turning the heat down a few degrees. Our bodies do not naturally burn calories due to today's overheated homes and offices. So there are two kinds of fats, white and brown. It's the brown fat that the body will burn to generate heat. And the colder you become, the more brown fat you will burn. And when the white fat becomes cold, it can turn into a kind of brown fat, which in turn will be used as heat. In one study, participants were exposed to colder temperature for 10 hours each night for a month. They had only bed sheets and had their food provided with good nutrition. After undergoing extensive evaluations when the month had passed, it showed that the participants had a 42% increase in brown fat volume, while at the same time increasing fat metabolic activity by 10%. Ray Cronis, a former NASA scientist, states that he used this technique to boost his weight loss on many occasions, one time losing 30 pounds in 6 weeks. It takes a lot of energy heating the body and is not much different than heating your house. By exposing the body to cold, it has to use the body fat as energy in order to maintain natural body heat. Ray experimented on himself by drinking only ice cold water, sleeping without covers, went from midwinter shiver walks to see how effective this method was. He lost almost 6 pounds the first week. He later improved his methods and made it a lot less painful, which I will go over shortly. But back in 2006, Ray tried losing weight following an exercise and diet plan. It worked great and he lost about 20 pounds in 12 weeks. This was before he was introduced to cold exposure and the weight he lost during this plan was sadly gained back with interest. However, Ray was not done yet and after reading about the effectiveness of cold exposure and fat loss, he decided to try it again. He used the same diet and exercise plan but this time he implemented intermittent cold exposure. This time he lost 29 pounds in only 6 weeks, for an average of 4.8 pounds of weekly fat loss. The addition of cold exposure alone rapidly increased the fat loss and he managed to lose the weight 3 times faster. Ray Cronis and Tim Ferriss have both experimented with thermodynamics in order to lose weight fast and there are some fairly pleasant methods that most people can use. First of all, he consumed an ECA stack 45 minutes before being exposed to the cold. And he did that on an empty stomach. The ECA stack causes your body to target specific fat cells to be burned for energy, all while raising your overall metabolic rate and suppressing appetite. After that, he simply submerged himself in a cold bath for 20 minutes, where he was only submerged from the waist down the first 10 minutes, and the last 10 minutes, he submerged his whole body except for his head. However, there is a more pleasant way of doing it and you will get about 60% of the results even without the ECA. 
simply place an ice pack on the back of your neck and the upper traps area for roughly 30 minutes. It's more beneficial if you do it in the evening when you're less insulin sensitive. And that's pretty much it. There won't be any spasmic shivers and you can chill in the couch while doing it. Another method you can use is to simply drink a big glass of ice cold water on an empty stomach upon waking up. Studies have shown that this will increase resting metabolic rate up to 30% 60 minutes post consumption. And lastly, go for a cold shower. Start off with hot water and apply shampoo and soap and when it's time to rinse it, turn it cold. Make sure the water hits the upper back, lower neck area for the best results. Most of the stuff that I've talked about you can buy on Amazon for a pretty cheap price. I will link the ECA pills along with ice bag wraps and cold packs in the description below. I've used some of these methods myself and they work incredibly well. So if you're serious about shedding a few pounds of fat, try these methods out. And let me know in the comments when you do and how many pounds you've lost. And uh, do not forget to subscribe to stay primed. You're fag! That's how you know you